Yeah, well, Hasluck is definitely one of the key seats in WA. It's currently held by Liberal MP and Indigenous Affairs Minister Ken White. Now, it's one of three key seats in WA that Labour is targeting, uh, that it believes it could swing in its favour and take away from the Liberals. Now, it's in comparison to Pierce and Swan, which, which are the other two key seats in WA that are being contested by Labour, Labour is slightly less confident in its ability to take Hasluck away from the Liberals. Now, a swing in favour for the Labour's candidate, uh, Tanya Lawrence, would be a huge, huge victory for Anthony Albanese's Labour Party. And it would spell trouble for the coalition. Now, Hasluck has been held by the Liberal, Liberals since 2010, and the re redistribution saw quite a bit, um, a, a slight push in favour of the Liberals, with the margin now sitting at 5.9%. Hasluck is a very large electorate. It holds um, quite a wide-ranging age demographic, with uh, people up in the Perth Hills having a much older demographic and we see there that they do vastly vote with a Liberal majority whereas in the Northeastern Corridor we see a lot of newer younger families moving into Hasluck so those are some of the factors that are in play here in Hasluck. And have the major parties been visiting there much during the campaign? Yeah, so in Hasluck, we've seen Prime Minister Scott Morrison and the opposition leader, Anthony Albanese, come in twice each into Hasluck throughout their federal election campaign. While Hasluck is definitely a key seat to watch, uh, if the number of visits is anything to go by, then we know that Swan and Pierce are probably where the Liberals have put more uh, pressure and resources into creating a presence there in Swan and Pierce. And the Liberals will also be hoping to win the wafer-thin marginal Labour seat of Cowan off of Labour to offset any losses that it might experience elsewhere in the state. And we also know that the very blue ribbon curtain seat at more than 13% of a margin for the Liberals is being challenged by a teal independent candidate. So Prime Minister Scott Morrison was on an unprecedented blitz tour of Western Australia yesterday, touring around the state and trying to increase his presence here, whereas Anthony Albanese actually launched his Labour campaign in WA earlier this month. And even before the election started, Mr Albanese was on the, was on the first flight into WA when WA's uh, hard border restrictions were finally lifted. So it's quite evident that WA is, in fact, a fierce battleground in the minds of these leaders that they do need to fight for. Cost of living will be front of mind as in many places here in Hasluck but also in the key seats of Swan and Pierce but here in Hasluck it is a bushfire prone electorate which means that climate change will also be a huge factor on many of the voters minds here. So while Hasluck isn't as closely contested as the key seats of Swan and Pierce we are seeing that it is an interesting place to keep track of. OK, Kaysen, thanks for that wrap. I was concerned at one stage there you were going to have a friendly dog jumping all over you as you wandered past that group, uh, but the owner got it under control. <laughs> uh, great to have a chat, Kaysen. Cheers. Thank you.